What's going on guys, Mitch or Bajan Canadian here, bringing you the Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies All Weapons Pack-A-Punched Assault Rifle section. And we are starting off with the M14, which when upgraded becomes the Amnesia. And uh, I'd rate this gun still in the desperate scale because uh, it's, I mean, it's not the best gun in the world, but it will make do if you're in uh, a time of need, if you're desperate. And uh, when upgrading it, what the effect is, is you get a larger magazine and increased damage. But keep in mind, when you get this larger magazine on the M14, it does take a little bit more time to reload. So you might want to, you know, take note of that and maybe get Speed Cola if you're interested in using this gun. But it's still, I don't, I don't really recommend this gun, but it's, if you're desperate, you can pick this gun up and it will not get you killed. But it might not help you all that much. The second assault rifle is the M16, which when upgraded becomes the Skull Crusher. And the effect of pack-a-punching this gun makes it fully automatic, increases the damage, and adds a grenade launcher attachment. And with that grenade launcher, it is a very good weapon because even though there are only 8 grenade shots, that really does come in handy because you can take off the zombie's legs and then finish them off very easily. This gun still is in the desperate scale just because assault rifles are not your ideal weapons for zombies, but they will make do, so I'd give this gun a solid 7. So beautiful about blowing shit up! The third assault rifle is the Commando, and when you upgrade the Commando, the name changes to the Predator. The effect is a larger magazine, increased damage, and you get the dual magazines attachment. So with that, if you guys don't know what the dual mags does from online, it allows you to every other reload, it reloads just about instantly. It's very quick, so uh, those dual mags really do come in handy, but this gun, again, it's an assault rifle, so still on a desperate scale, but this gun still stands at a solid 7. The next assault rifle is the Famous, and when upgraded, the name changes to the G16 GL35, and the effect gives you a precision red dot sight, a larger magazine, and increased damage. Now, my only opinion on this gun is that it shoots too damn fast. That's the only negative side to it, so you really do waste your ammo a little bit too quickly. But I'd still say this gun's a very solid assault rifle, so it still stands at a 7 in the desperate scale. The next assault rifle is the FN Foul or FN Fail because when upgraded it becomes the Epic Win. The effect of upgrading the FAL gives you a precision sight, larger magazines, increased damage and it will fire in a 3 round burst. So this gun still stands at a 7 in the desperate scale. I'm getting lonely here. The next assault rifle is the Galil, or as uh, my friend Jerome likes to call it, the Jalal, and when you upgrade it, it becomes the Lamentation, and the effect of this gives you a precision red dot sight and increased damage. Still, this assault rifle stands in the desperate scale at a solid 7. Notice the trend there, all the assault rifles are 7, and that's because all the assault rifles are almost equal in how uh, powerful they are, it's just some assault rifles have secondary attachments, which... Uh, Add to them a little bit more, but at the end of the day, they're all pretty much just a seven. The next assault rifle is the G11. When upgraded, the name changes to the G11-5 generator, G115 generator, G115 generator, whatever you want to say. makes no difference, really. And uh, the effect gives it a larger magazine, increased damage, and makes it fully automatic. Now, not only that, it also eliminates all reticle sway so you can have perfect accuracy. Still, as I'm sure you know, this gun ranks at a 7 in the desperate scale. He's a classic. He can't sip from his bottle anymore. 
Now the final assault rifle is the AUG, the AUG, and when upgraded it becomes the AUG 50M3, which gives you increased damage, a precision sight, and an undermounted shotgun. Now the Master Key does have a lot of ammo, it has 36 shots, but it is not that great, so this gun still does ranking at a solid 7 in the Desperate Scale. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please leave a rating, and uh, feel free to check out my channel, link in the description, and have a great day. I will honor this machine by slaying many. Oh, fucking raw!